another day, another pick. Let's see, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the lucky number. What is that? Let's put it up here, see if I can read it. Supermodel body hydrating shimmer glow. So that's what number seven's pick is. Hold on a second. You know I can't hold this phone, so I'm putting you guys down. I have like 375 million things to do today, and they all start like right now. I've already gone to the gym. I've already gone to the market. I did a midweek market pickup again. Um, I don't know. I... I, I I like to buy certain stuff fresh, so that means that I'm gonna be going to the market like a lot oft a, a lot more often than you know the regular once a week pickup. Like typically, I go two to three times a week. That's just how I am. So I had to pop in there today and grab a few things because this weekend's gonna be hectic, and I didn't want to have to wait until the weekend to do it. So I did it today. You guys seem so far away. So hold on. So I didn't want to wait till the weekend. So I did it today. And then I still have a ton of other things that I need to get done. I have my makeup brushes that I need to wash, wash, because they are filthy dirty. Um, I don't, I hate it. I have normally all like white brushes, most of them for the face. The eye brushes are typically a mixture between like a cream and a white or a, a white and a black. So those don't, but when I look at them and they just look dirty, that makes me want to wash them right away. I have those. I have my beauty blenders that I need to wash. And then I have, um, I went and picked up a fragrance. I picked up a fragrance you guys I, I have to stop it has to stop I blame you guys for this this had nothing to do with you it trust me it was all me um I picked up another fragrance and then I'm wanting to start using this new skincare on my face I haven't started using it yet I am using that other skincare that I told you guys about um it's okay I guess and I do need to take this thing out my hair because I don't want my hair to be like that I don't want it in a ponytail vibe because I'm gonna need to Get it ready for tomorrow. Anyways, I have to breathe. So I have that to do. And then uh, what else do I have to do? I've already did my laundry for the day. Um, how many times a week do you guys do laundry? Let me know. I've already did my laundry for the day. I know it depends on how many people live in your household. But I'm saying for your household, how many times a week do you do laundry? Typically... I do laundry like five days a week. Is that bad? I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I have going on for today. I've already gone out of the house. All I'm going to do is go downstairs and make tacos for dinner. We are having tacos, but I'm going to have them on those low-carb, carb-free um, type of shells. I'll do lean ground turkey. I'll do cilantro, green onions. You know, she loves cheese, so I'm going to put some cheese in there, and then I'm going to do it on one of those low-carb things. I'm not eating lettuce right now because every time I turn on the news, lettuce is being recalled. Romaine lettuce is being recalled, so right now I'm just not doing lettuce. I'm like, whatever. Figure it out, people. Uh, although I did have some lettuce the other day. I'm not being very consistent at that. So that's that. I already got to know what I'm making for dinner. So that's going to be easy breezy. Clean the kitchen. Sweep the floor. Mop the floor. Those are all the things I do when I get done in the kitchen. I don't know. My mom, my grandmother raised me like that. Like you just, you know, when you get done with the kitchen, you clean up the stuff. Have you ever heard some... Have you ever heard... You guys... I'm trying to focus, okay, but you already know. Have you ever heard or somebody tell you, yeah, I'm going to clean the kitchen, and they just wash the dishes? Like, my mom would get so mad if I did that. Like, she's like, when you wash, wash the dishes, you clean the sink, you clean the perimeter of the sink, you clean out the countertops, you clean the stove, the stove. You wipe the refrigerator down, you sweep the floor, you mop the floor, and then you walk away, and she would always say, you stand back away and you look. Can you see any smear prints, hand prints, crumbs, anything like that? And if you can't, then you say, I'm done with the kitchen. And I was like, that sounds like a deep dive kitchen clean to me, mom. And she goes, no, because we didn't clean out the refrigerator, we didn't clean out, the, and I was like, oh, the oven, we didn't clean. So that was cleaning in my house. So needless to say, um, I'm a stickler when it comes to cleaning. Like, I like it done a certain way, typically my way. I don't know, that's just probably how I am. So anyways, I'm going to clean the kitchen back up, so that'll be done after. And then I'm probably going to chill on the couch. Who am I kidding? I'm going to edit some videos. I do have a show that I wanted to watch tonight. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest. My guilty pleasure sometimes is watching the housewives okay I don't care which ones it is Potomac Orange County Atlanta I don't watch Jersey the New York or whatever they're called I don't watch that one and then whatever other ones there are I do like that show I do like those shows um I don't know why they're very entertaining to me so I do 
I do watch those. They're very entertaining. And then what else do I have going on? You guys, I don't know what I'm wearing to this event tomorrow. I went last year. It was super, super nice. It's a private event from Louis Vuitton. And I have an amazing client advisor that invites me every year. And he's such a jewel. He's just, I'm so blessed that he came into my life because we really hit it off. He's more than a client advisor. He's like my friend. So shout out to you if you're watching. Anyhow, so we're doing that. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I think I want to wear this black dress. It's not really a dress, okay? If I can find a picture, I'll pop it up. I do have it here, but I don't feel like going to get it. But it's a black shirt, but the bottom of it is all sheer. It's all sheer at the bottom. And underneath you would wear like some faux leather leggings or some oh if I had some sequins leggings it would be everything and I was going to wear it with some black boots but it's going to be standing up and walking for a lot so I did want to go comfortable but I might have to suffer or sacrifice comfortability for fashion and I don't always like to do that but I may have to in this you know event and then I'm going to carry oh my god you guys want to see the bag I'm going to carry I'm going to carry this bag tomorrow I think don't quote me on it if the outfit is going right how I have it in my head I'm going to carry this bag tomorrow and I was already thinking of what fragrance I should wear to the event and I was saying to myself I should probably wear a Louis Vuitton fragrance right because it's a Louis Vuitton event so I should probably wear a Louis Vuitton fragrance but everything inside of me is wanting to wear Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Strite, okay? That's what I want to wear. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I'll have to tell you tomorrow. Leave in the comment section which one you think I'm going to wear. It's going to be one of the two. It's, it'll be a Louis Vuitton fragrance or it'll be Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Strite. Um, I still have my little decants, my little samples. And I could be or I could not be waiting for a package in the mail. From MFK again. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. You have to. You, you have to keep watching. You have to keep watching the videos to find out. And then what else? Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna wear my hair. I was gonna wear. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. No. I, if my hair is really dirty, and then I. Okay, listen. I cannot go and get it done. Right? Why? Because I would have gone to the gym, worked out. Then I have to come home and get ready. And then the next day I have to go back to the gym and work out again. So it doesn't make sense. It's a waste of money to get my hair done. And it's a waste of the money to put the heat on. So this is where the dry shampoo just might come into play. Or, or, hold that thought. She might pull out a big beautiful headband. You know I love the headband. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do my makeup yet. I'm so excited to play in it. I don't know what look I'm going to go for. But I got to be serious because I'm going to have a very short, I have a very short crunch window to get this done makeup done hair done i gotta be on the road because traffic is crazy here in la it could take you two and a half three hours to get somewhere okay real talk non-exaggeration so that's going to be that i think i'm going to wear i don't know if i'm going to wear a coat because yeah it'll be cold walking in but you don't have a coat closet so i'm not going to wear the coat the whole time it'll be killing the vibe of my outfit okay i might have to sacrifice being cold to look cute for fashion I don't know so that's that on that and then what else I love this time of the year it gets very very busy um, but the most important thing is that you just you know you you do what you can do and you write your to-do list for the things that you aren't able to get to for today and that's what I've been trying to do because you don't want to become so you know burdened down or bogged down with all the hectic you know shopping and you know doing everything that you need to do that you miss the holiday it really truly is here I go I'm about to sound so cliche so cheesy it really is the most wonderful time of the year and it truly is a blessing to be able to see it I know so many people that were here at the top of the year that are not here right now so I always like to you know just take a few moments to just be in the moment and be present and to just be ever so thankful so I am and I'm just I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm life is is good. I mean, nothing's ever perfect, but I don't have any complaints. Life is what it is. I oftentimes tell people material things are great. They're awesome. I love them. They make me happy. They're foo foo la la, shiny. You know, just different things like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. But at the end of the day, um, nothing means more than you know. Here she goes, about to preach. You guys, I cannot help it, okay? They say what's in you will come out of you, okay? And that's what comes out of me. <sighs> Sometimes. Sometimes I like to listen to a little Drake, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she likes to listen to a little Drake and it's a whole different story. But anyhow, 
Drake makes me very happy, okay? I'm just saying. My guy is very aware of that. He likes Drake as well. And what else? Yeah, so I'm happy, you know? And it's not materialistic things that makes me happy. Like, you know, I don't even really, like, not trying to say this to even be, like, facetious or anything like that. Like, I'm not really impressed with materialistic things. They're things, you know what I mean? Or I'm not impressed. I mean, I would love a private yacht. We all know this. I would love a private jet. Yes, I would take both of those in a heartbeat. And a full paid expense trip to Italy or just, you know, Paris again. That would be great. But those things make me happy, but I'm not impressed by them. I'm really impressed by people who go through their day-to-day -day life and no matter what their situation is or their circumstances, they don't let that define them, good or bad. You know what I mean? If you could be going through the most, you know, difficult time in life, but to still be able to be kind and treat people with respect and still be able to smile, I'm impressed with that kind of stuff because that's the kind of stuff that, you know, money can't buy, but character does. You know what I mean? So here I go about to get all deep again, you guys. I'm getting off this subject because I'll be here all day. If you want a sermon, let me know. You know, I used to teach Sunday school at church. And every now and then they would let me get up and bring a message. <laughs> they did. I, I, But I talked a lot when I got up and brought a message. But they were nice. You know, nobody rushed me or, you know, keyboard put the keyboard on told sister so-and-so to start singing nobody did that so it was all good but i gotta go here is the fragrance oh my god you guys okay new fine fragrance new fine this is it bon nine can you see that oh my gosh it's uh, maybe i should wear this tomorrow let me see hold on let me sit you guys down okay let's leave it like it okay that was better that camera was hurting my hands honestly people so i did get this this is a fragrance i found you guys can you see that bond nine nyc this is oud it smells super super good it's so sexy you always know i'm gonna say it's sexy i don't even buy fragrance if it's really not sexy like it's gotta give me something like what are you giving me and in this realm it's giving me that you guys this fragrance retails at Saks fifth avenue i called over and i went online to check and just see pretty nice size bottle right i'll come back and do a full full review and everything like that but for right now i just wanted to just show you what it was so this is a full bottle here oh it's good this is good good this is so good it's creamy it's got some oud it's got some sweetness to it this is bond nine okay bond nine new york and this is oud for women and men. Oh, so that means that my guy could wear it with me. Yes, it is oud for men and women. It's rose, it's oud, it's warm, it's spicy, it's fruity, it's citrusy. It is just good. It's nothing new, you guys. I believe this came out in 2011, if I'm not mistaken, around Valentine's Day. So it's very sexy. It's very appropriate for this weather and this time. I'm already wearing something. So let me just put it up here just to get another whiff of it. Uh, this was a blind buy. Okay, this was a blind buy, but I'll tell you what happened. I was inside of Marshall's. I keep finding the most amazing fragrances at Marshall's. You remember I told you a couple of weeks ago, I found Cartier there. I was there perusing the, the whatever the store, the Marshall's, looking for, what was I looking for? Mm, I just go in there and look. I don't have to really be looking for anything. I just like to go in and see what's happening, what they have, what's new. So I was just perusing. I always go to certain areas, workout clothes, uh, pictures, mirrors, frames, dishes, uh, glassware. And then I always stop by the fragrance, the hair. Okay, girl, you just look over the whole store. Okay, I look over the whole store. So I went over there and I was, oh, and I was looking for that and I said, this is good, but it's like a, I think it would smell better on my guy than it would me because it's not a sweet. I'm going to wait and see how it dries down. Let me, ju I just wanted to share a fine with you. This retailed for 240 for the small and 400 and something for the large. I got this for practically a hundred dollars, just a hundred dollars over at the Marshalls and it's bond line. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe that. It's a steal. So I'm going to have my guy wear this and then see, you know, what we feel about it. This was a blind buy. I mean, you know, when I took it up to the counter, I asked her, can I smell it? She said yes. And uh, upon her letting me spray it and smell it, I said, okay, I'll take it. So I guess it was a blind buy, but not really because I did really get to smell it first. And I'm just sitting here drinking my water and moisturizing. Okay, this is what I try and drink a day. This is my favorite water in the entire world. Okay, if I'm not drinking that... Trader Joe's water, I'm drinking this. 
Okay, and what else? Oh, I told you guys about the new skincare that I'm going to be trying out. My friend gave me. She actually works for the line, and she gave it to me. So I said, oh, I can't wait to try this out. I heard of it before. Have you guys heard of this? Um, this brand. Let's see. Can you see that? This brand here. This Seek. I'm not going to even try and pretend I know how to say it because I really don't. This is a limited edition. It's got a face cream. It's got a gel. It's got a treatment lotion. Um, I need something, you know, just different. I always like to switch up my skincare. Tons of different face masks she gave me. And then a nice moisturizer to go with it. Oh, she also put a toner. Oh, okay. A toner in here as well. And what is this? Facial essence. So I might wear this tomorrow before I do my makeup. Do a nice face mask to get my body all supple and ready. You know, I think we might do dinner after. Don't worry. I'm taking you guys to the whole thing with me, okay? So make sure you watch the vlog after today because it'll be tomorrow if I can get it up. That's going to be a quick turnaround. I mean, I'm going to try, but for the, you know, for real time, Watch my Instagram stories. You guys, follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I know some of you are. I talk to you over there all the time. But it's a way that we can connect and see each other, you know, uh, more often than just on the videos. However, this has been vlogging, so this has been great because I get to see you guys every day, those of you that are tuning in. But if you're not, you don't have time. I understand everybody has a life. Um, follow on Instagram. I'll just be sharing some of the stuff from the event. Let me know if you want to see fragrance. What is it that you want to see? Slide in the DM. Say hi. How you doing? Um, um, what else I have to get out of here you guys I have to go it has been so nice just chatting with you and just you know getting to know you you guys are so kind thank you so much for all the comments thank you so much for all your comments and you taking the time to just write and you taking the time to just watch the videos you have no idea how much that means to me you know what I mean because you're doing them you're like are they liking them do they because you want, I want to give you what you like I want to give you what you want to see what you want to know I know we all love fragrance we love all things fabulous and I found out a ton of you like glitter and shimmer and shine stuff too so that's a really good thing to know that I'm not the only person who loves glitter and shine. Remember, I'm going to put my outfit of the day or whatever I choose to wear. You guys, I hope it just, I have it in my mind how I want it to look. And I'm just hoping that it's really going to look that way. Because I have done this before, like put something in my mind, how I want it to look. And then, you know, hope that it was going to look a certain way. And girl, guy, I have put it on and I'm like, uh, absolutely not. And then I have to start over. I have one backup dress just in case it doesn't work. You know, you always got that one good dress over in the corner, okay, that you always pull out. But you don't want to wear that again. You've already worn that. They've seen it already. You've already got a picture in it. So I don't, I don't want to have to resort to that. So I, I'm hoping this other dress works out. And I don't know the makeup look that I'm wearing either. I was thinking about wearing a bold red lip, my Chanel red lip, or maybe my Fenty uh, red stunner. I don't know. That's what I'm contemplating. I would have loved to have these one particular earrings here, but they're not going to be here in time. Um, I ordered them, but they're not going to be here in time, so that's going to be an opening. I may wear dangling earrings. I don't know, you guys, but I can tell you whatever I'm going to be doing tomorrow is going to be a lot. Okay? It's going to be absolutely the most. I can just tell you that. Okay. Let me keep moving. Let me just show you how bad my makeup brushes look. Don't judge me. Let me just show you guys how bad my makeup brushes look. Look at this. Okay, and these aren't even all of them. Oh my gosh, they're all falling everywhere. These aren't even all of them, okay? And then I have these over here that have to be clean. I don't know why this, and my hands are ashy, okay, you guys, because it's cold here. Anyways, I don't know why I have that in there. And then these brushes are all eye brushes that need to be clean. And then these brushes, too, are all face brushes that need to be clean. My sister cousin gave me this. Adrian, if you're watching, this is where I keep my other brushes in here. It's really hard to open, but isn't this gorgeous for keeping your brushes in? So half of them, majority of them fit inside there. This lady here, you guys, she's the one who taught me how to contour and highlight. But if your face is not shaped like hers, don't do it because it's not going to help you. So that's that there. This is like a little bit of the makeup that I have, a vanity here of a bunch of different makeup. Um that I reach for all the time. So that's that on that. I have to get these brushes clean. So I'm gonna bring them all in here. I put them on this white paper cloth or whatever you have here. 
and then I cleaned them with this. I showed you guys this stuff in another video. And then this is the little uh, thing that you, I don't know, a brush cleaner. Like you put your brush in there and you put the soap on and then you scrub it. And then I have this dryer that my sister cousin gave me. So I have that. So I'm going to get my makeup brushes together and I am going to go. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined the team yet and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram so that we can stay connected and don't forget to check the Insta stories tomorrow. I'll see you guys, bye. And my dear, we're still